to come up. I just played ball, I ran track, I got a little bit into tennis, and none of them were fulfilled. And I never could figure out what it was. But when I went skating, it was like a whole new phenomenon. Well, I realized right away I wanted to create an image, I wanted to create a character which would attract people to me. And I wanted to create a character that would be very, very advantageous to the place, but also non-threatening, which is how Vinzarelli Jigaboo came up, Jigaboo Jammers came up. It was a funny name, a name that fit into Brooklyn, a name that was, was very uninhibited, a name that was, uh, to, to a lot of people, very comical. Nevertheless, when you can make somebody smile and make somebody laugh, then you make somebody be in a non-threatening situation. So I created the character, but then I realized, but I can't skate. So I had to get good. sitting in this one room in my house where I, I just had a mirror in the room. And I practiced in front of that mirror all the time to music. Every day. And what you do to me is I'm skating or anything, anything I'm doing, but most of when I'm skating, I love to just, I love to clown. And I like that crowd to be coming on towards me, like, I mean, like, like, when I first start skating, like, I be skating, I look behind me, and I see all those people, I say, oh, no, they're going to run me down. So, I, you know, I've got so good to me, I'm doing so good. Now what I do, I just get right in front of me and watch the crowd come towards me. When they start coming towards me, I just start dodging out the way, and nobody could touch me, you know. Every time somebody would zoom by me, I would move over like that, and they'd come by, and then I would take my hand, like, then I'd like to bend down and, and move my hand like this to the music, of, you know, when they'd be playing and moving like that. When they come by, i just dodge out the way like that, and it got real good, and then, like, mostly every time I go there, I do it every day. I, I'm, about, I'm the only one that really dodge. I have people that stand in the middle, but they be dancing, but me, I be way look, I be mainly looking for that crowd to come dead at me. Don't time when I was like in show business, when I wanted to get into it, I didn't know what type of name I should use. And then I said, well, I mean, what, not, what are they going to call me? They're going to call me Here Come Pat or There Go, I didn't know. And then I was just laying down, just dreaming, thinking. I started thinking about cats, right? So I said to myself, when I woke up, I said, wow, maybe I should call myself Pat the Cat. I said, yeah, so I call myself Pat the Cat. So then on, everybody call me Pat the Cat. Everywhere I go, Pat the Cat. <laughs> that she likes to skate, but not deep down as much as I know what she would like to do, she likes to sing. And as far as skating, she would give skating up. But me, I can't give skating up. I hold on when I was singing, I almost laid. But I don't like it anymore because I've been through it so much. I gave up. All I want to do is just roller skate. I want to teach my two kids how to roller skate. Because like if anything else in life they want to do, they know how to roller skate. Ten, ten, ten. Oh boy, she just go all the way, don't she? Ten, ten, ten. I want to watch Krim. How the Krim Hawk go? That's it. Yeah, Krim Hawk is all right. That's How's your song coming along? Good. It's good? Yeah. Let me see. I can sing a little bit. Let me see. You want to sing it? Yeah. Can we hear sing it, Tinker? Yeah. Me Where's too. Where's that? In the drawer.
Me too, I want to sing it too. Want to sing Want some more story? Let me see, let me see. You going to sing? Yeah, ain't no more. I'm going to tell you no more. Right here. You want to do the whole thing? <coughs> you sure? Yeah. Sing on it. On it. On it. Oh, on come on. All right, okay. Right. You ready? Yeah. If you want to make it big, stay up on the top. You got to make those hips over and over and never, ever stop. Because once you're stopping down, you go, oh, maybe not all the way. But you know you're not up there like you were yesterday. Hey, hey. So listen to what I have to say and keep it in mind. And every day, hey, hey, the sun will shine. Hey, hey. If you want to make it big and stay up on the top, you got to make those hits over and over and never, never stop. Because once you're stopping down, you go, oh, maybe not all the way. But you know you're not up there like you was yesterday. Hey, hey, you was yesterday. Hey, hey, was yesterday. Hey, hey, was yesterday. Hey, hey, was yesterday. That was bad. Hey, hey. <laughs> that was loud. Bad. You said it loud, right, girl? Hey, hey. All right. <laughs> There's this guy in, in from London, and he wants to see some skaters. He's already seen Vince Rally, and he's very excited because I build you up, you know, Pat the Cat on skates, <laughs> cowboy, you know what I mean? You're joking me. Come on, don't even do this to me. Not today, don't do this to me. Pat came all the way over to see some skaters. He's opened up a lot of skate rinks in Europe, and he, and he wants to see some skaters and take back with him to London. Hey. Right. So now, what you want me to do? Hey, Pat, listen, this is the situation. This guy is pressed for time. You know, he's got to make a flight. He's got to make a flight in about an hour. So I need you to get over here immediately, babe. Immediately. Pat, get off the phone. Right now, I'm on my job. I'll be off in an hour. I mean, you can't wait. You got back on the plane now? Yeah, oh, Pat. no. Pat, listen, this is your big break, man. The guy's outside. Now he's out here looking at his watch. He's hold up, hold up. Let me, wait a minute. Let me see. Hey, John, I want you to do me. Hey, John, you do me a favor? Pat, you got work to do? You going to get off the phone today? I got something very important to do, and I want to go do it right now. I gave you the job, I give you the hours, you work the hours. And if you're working, get off the phone. Hey, Pat, you gotta pull this off. Randy. Hey, listen, hey, I say forget the job, man. Forget that job. This is more important to you. Look wait a minute, this, hold it. One, look, Randy, wait, 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 wait. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Wait, 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 wait. One minute, one minute. John, look, I got to go. I gotta go, man. Look, just do me that one favor. That's all I need. I can't get one favor for it. Well, if you gotta go, then you don't need the job, and you're fired, because that's it, Pat. 
Oh, no, what y'all doing to me? Come on, man. I gotta go. I got to go. I'm going. I'm going. Yeah, stay over here. You gotta get over here now. Look, I'm on my way. <laughs> man, tell them don't move, don't budge, don't do nothing. Hold, if you can hold, I'll tell you what. Tell them this, this, I'll be right there. Tell them don't go, don't even go to the bathroom. I'm already peeing on myself. Tell them don't even go to the bathroom. I'll be right there. goes in like Come on, 45 minutes. You can't. I just got fired off my job and you tell me you gotta go? I'm sorry. I'm I mean, why you ain't talking? So yeah, but I, hey, I, I lost my job. I know you're gonna give me a chance. I lost my job. I know you're definitely gonna give me a chance. The thing yeah. is, you have to see him. Come on, well, I've seen 10 people already. You gotta take two minutes to see him. That's all minutes. you have to take two minutes to see him. You can't leave now. Come on, I know. Come on, just, it's gonna be fast. 
Yeah. It's gonna be dynamite. You're gonna love it. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You got to take gotta, two minutes to see this gentleman out. because he just Do that lost his job. I want you to check me out. I mean, he just out. skated off his job. Please, please. You have to catch the next flight, maybe. Isn't you got to check me out, man. Look, I lost my job. Come on, you got to check me out. You got to see me Come skate, on. all right? Two okay, bet, bet. Bet. Out of state. All right. Fabulous. Oh. We're a great guy. Auditioning. When I turned around, he was gone. They just left a few minutes ago. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure positive. And he didn't say nothing. He didn't leave no word. And he didn't say nothing about me. No, nothing. About oh, cause I wanted to see if I got the job. I don't know anything about that. No, you sure? Definitely. Okay, thanks a lot. Okay, man. Take care. All right. Look, I didn't call the organ now. I had to do something very, very important. I had to go audition for something. All I know, I called your job, and they said that you have no more job. Pat left. He had to go and see, do something that was important or something. I'm going to I'm gonna get a job. Don't worry about that thing. So I'm disgusted. Things didn't even work out today like it's supposed to. It didn't work out. Like everything is wrong. You mean you walked off your job to take care of some business that didn't work out? I don't feel like organ, all right? I didn't call you all. I don't know what we're going I had to. So I'm, don't worry, I'm going to get a job. I'm going to get a job, all right? But what did you have to do that was so important? Don't, I can't explain. I just had to go audition for something. Pat, tell me something better than that. I keep telling you it's over. The kids need things. Don't, I'm gonna, don't worry about getting the stuff for the kids and stuff. I'm going to get it. I got, look, I got enough problems already, OK? Do you I, know what we're going to do? I'm going to get a job. Look, I'm going, I'll see you in a little while, OK? I gotta go. I'll see. I'll be home in a little while. What's going on? Hey, I gotta go skating, man. I gotta go skate. What's up, man? I got a buck, man. Get down. You got a half. What you got? What you got? What you got? A token? You gotta put a token down in the game. Where you gonna throw your ass home? Boy, you know, I can win a lot of money in here, you know. I hope I win enough, boy. I'll get me all the roller skates they got. Man, you keep playing. You ain't got no money. I got to go skate, man. If I happen to win some money, it's good. Some of that money usually gets me to the skating ring. Then you ain't got no money. Put the rub down. You got what you got. Give me the nice, man. What you got? What you got? You got crazy. Yeah, nobody else got you, huh? Trey. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't try to worry about what I do. What? Six on past that. Hey, listen, y'all ain't got to pass Trey, if you give me something that I really love to do, I would do the best in it. And I love to roller skate. So as far as that, it would be the best of that. Hold on, you roller skate. See a little gay. Hey, I like this. 
the cat like this. I wear all the pants. You ain't got no money. I see y'all later. Bye. I started skating about a year and a half ago. I was doing some research for a book I'm writing on black family in America. And I was working at New York City Family Court. In order to work at New York City Family Court, you have to have a certain amount of caseload, which is what they call it. I had eight kids. And you have to deal with their families and uh, the type of problems and things like that that they have in their house and in the street and, and like that. And uh, about a year and a half ago, you know, I was there. And one of the kids that I had had called me up one night because I told them they can always call me any time during the night or day if they had problems or they wanted to hang out or whatever. So they called me up and they wanted me to come to the roller skating ring with them. And I told them I didn't skate. I told them skating, you know, it was for kids. So uh, they laid the trip on me. And the trip was, hey, you said that you would hang out with us. So uh, what's the deal? So I said, OK. I was trapped. Give me the address. So they gave me the address to the skating ring Empire uh, Roller Dome in Brooklyn. And uh, that night, I went down. And uh, when I went down, it was like uh, I caught a skating fever or something. You know, I didn't even come home that night. I, I sat there amazed by all the skaters and all the music and all the power and all the energy in the ring. And, uh, the next morning, I, I went and bought me some skates, and I've been skating ever since. get in to put on my skates. I was so excited the way the people were skating, right? I was just looking, and everybody was looking at me because I didn't have took my skate or anything or put them on. I was just standing up looking because I was so excited. Much as I love to skate or much as I love sports, right? So I, I started looking and standing around, just saying, boy, if I could only do those things that he's doing. So I put on my skates. I realized, I realized that I couldn't skate. But I kept coming back and kept coming until I learned how to skate. And when I learned how to skate, I, I, I really got involved with skating. Get on up, oh God, I never went to this car. I guess that's why when I go, when I get on the skate, I get so excited. There's certain records that I can just walk, skate shaking my head, moving my hands to the music. The manager, he used to call me the stepper. Oh,
because of my education and my consciousness, I realized very quickly that um, this could be a whole new trip, a whole new career, a whole new program for me. And uh, because I am up on the plight of black people, I realized that um, one of the things that we haven't done is take advantage of situations because we haven't had skills, or we had the skills but didn't have the connections, or we had the combination of the skill and connections but didn't to have the desire or the discipline. And I think that I have all of the above. So I went at it. somebody dancing or a musician playing a horn or somebody getting down on their skates and see them as being a wild and crazy guy. And I wanted to make sure that they knew that Vinzarelli, the guy out there, is a real person, but he's also a projection, a character, somebody that's superimposed, somebody that's very consciously being created by me. in the street a lot. In my neighborhood, I'd just be out there. Just come to the neighborhood and just ask anybody about Patty Chad, and I'm definitely there. I'm always seen. You might catch me sitting on the fence just running my mouth, you know. You might run up and catch me playing handball. You might catch me in the pool room. I shoot pool a lot. I want to see you play this. You don't know what you're doing. You know, shot like that. I do things so people can really see me. Acting like a fool, like I always act. I always want to make people laugh. This is, this is me. You even got to worry about it. Look at the ball. Go. I don't think so, good buddy. I don't think so. How you like that? I'm like the, you can say the neighborhood clown. And that's all I do. And I love it. And I've been doing it for a long time. I can't stop. I'm 30 years old. I don't never want to stop that thing. One time I told a friend that, you know, I can't skate that well. But I'm getting a lot of attention. And they said, it's just the way you act. You act kind of crazy on the skates, but you do it kind of nice. And people like that. <laughs>
I'm from the country in Alabama. I always used to work and I never had time for sports. Not even time for school when I was a little girl. We used to pick cotton and stuff like that. We had to work in order to really eat and get our clothes, so we had to work. When I got up in New York at the age of 10, at first I was kind of scared because I wasn't used to the city. That's when I started really falling in love with sports. How I really got involved with sports, when I was in junior high school, I was in all the track races. I won all of the races that I was in. I had made up my mind I was gonna be in the Olympics. I knew I could do it. But I started skating. I changed my mind. Then I started watching World W on television, learning their moves and how fast they go, how they make their points. So I I decided I wanted to be a roller double girl. I said, one of these days, I'm going to try and get into the roller double girl if this is the last thing I do. frustrated me but now that um I have a what you say a reputation um, I skate with the ladies now oh, stop playing with my heart if you don't mean it I have to have those cowboy guns. I have to have those that, that cowboy hat because I feel lost. And just imagine me feeling without those cowboy guns and that hat, and I lose my skates. Oh, I go into a fit. If I ain't, oh, if I lose my skates, I can't even explain what I would do. I would, I think I'd lock myself in the bathroom. I'd probably cry. As old as I am, I'd probably cry. But as far as those skates, those guns, and that cowboy hat, I can't. I can't lose that. I got that's part of me. I need that. And that really sets a, a image off to me. <laughs> if I had a lot of money, truthfully, I would ride in that skating ring on a horse. I'm going go around about five times and then take the horse back out and put him in the thing and take him back. <laughs> Of work I do. I work with um, handicapped people, senior citizen, people that are old, and they depend on you to help them in certain things that they can't do. And I have one client, his name is Charles. He's, he lost an arm and a leg in an accident. 
I talked to him sometime about skating and how I enjoy skating. He said that he would like he would like me to teach him to skate with his artificial leg. I have a lot of patience and I give him all the time that I can help him out. I enjoy it. Sometimes he thinks that I get tired of doing it, but I enjoy it. I don't get tired. A little bit. You? You nervous when you first started? Yeah. I was nervous when I first started, but um, I, I said that I wanted to skate really bad, so I, I, told, I said to myself that I can't be nervous. I have to get out there and try, right? So I got out there and tried, and I did pretty good because I really wanted to do it. Yeah, well, I saw you on 2020, and you did not look nervous. Because it does after I got good. You know, all you have to do is just just pick up your feet, and take your time, and you got to say in your mind you really want to do it. If you really want to do it, you'll do it. We'll see. Huh? We'll see right now. Okay, you ready? Okay. You know how when you, was, when you, when you walk, you yeah. just walk normally? Yeah. Maybe. And I be telling them how I get over the things that worries me. I do the things that I best like to do in my life. And that's going skating a lot. You want to give it a try? I'll run and be falling on you. Huh? <laughs> oh, I got you. And that's if I wouldn't believe it if I didn't see it. That you got me with skates on. <laughs> you think I'll make it on to 2020? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> All right. Huh? All right. Good. Yeah. Go real fast. You step into my life and I'm oh so happy. You step into my life and I'm oh so happy. You step into my life, step into my life. Excuse me. I gotta be a little sucker. Excuse me. 
I asked you a question, that's all I asked you. Why all the time you gotta like chop me down? You forgot like, it. I ain't gotta prove nothing to you. Look, I'm going and I'm going. I wish you, I wish you watch your hands. Let me tell you something. Keep stuff. your hands off. You're still punk. You're still I'm punk. going. So you please, ain't going out. You going feet. anywhere to be Atlantic Avenue? That's where you might be at. You ain't and, been and nowhere. That's where you, you ain't going at. nowhere. It might be Atlantic Town somewhere, but you ain't going where I'm going. I ain't. I got proof. You ain't got proof. You net nothing. I'm going to England. You look I'm like going. a cowboy. I'm going to England. And the Indians about I'm on your ass. So please get I'm out of my face. I'm going to England. Food. Please. England, we you dig? For money. England. 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 You know what England is? You know what the word England means? But do you know where Notion Avenue is at? I know. Do you know what England <coughs> means? I don't think do you, you know what, leave. Do you know what traveling means? You ain't been nowhere. You ain't going nowhere. You a fool. Don't now stop playing with skates. Get yourself a bicycle and going up the don't avenue. Don't worry about it. You Please. Just do. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah. That's about the second time you done pushed me. You're making me miss my shot. I'm just We're playing for cash money right here. This is money, and this ain't funny. Only place you're going is to the hamburger joint where you used to work at. I, hey, 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 I asked please, you a question. Please, please, I asked you a question. Please, just we step talking on about my shoes I, now, I used to work in a, I used to work in the restaurant. Please. Don't worry about where I used to work at. I'm just letting you know. I'm just letting you know. I'm just letting you know, sucker. Yo, man, you better watch your mouth. Hey, you better watch your I mouth. I said sucker, like I said. You better watch your mouth. I'm just letting you know. I'm about to work on you like I'm working on these hey, balls. whatever. Whatever you want to so do, please, it. step aside. Whatever you want to do, do it. Why don't you do it? Yo, get out of my way. Hey, no, hey, hey. What you, know, what you Yo, Come on, sucker. Come on. Who got the way? Come on. Come on. I wish he wasn't standing. I'll pop you in your face. You better watch that stick, boy. I'll be in England. Where you going to be? I thought I want to know. You ain't never going in. You ain't never going in. Where you going to be at? Come to the airport, sucker. Go ahead. Play it. Come to the airport and watch me take off, sucker. Watch me. Yeah, I've been talking a long time about it. I've been talking a long time about it. But I want you to come. You ain't coming. Is you coming? You better hit the room. You ain't been there. You better chill. get out my face. Hey, whatever you want to do, you, you do. You ain't never going to ain't gonna do nothing. Thing. Thing. You better be cool out, too, buddy. You, you ain't gonna never going to do in. nothing. You ain't going to do you nothing. You ain't never going to do nothing. You ain't never going to do nothing. No Stunavin is the father's Don't worry you about it. Don't worry about no it. No Stunavin. Hey, I ain't got to play nothing to you. Oh, you should be a star like me and go to Hollywood. That's what you should do. And you're going to be right here Money. in front of this. <laughs> Somebody would have asked me a year and a half ago, do you think you would be a jigaboo jammer skater who does the, I'd say, what? A jigger who? A jigger j a what? It's crazy. I'm gonna be, if anything, the Muhammad Ali of, of roller skating. Cause I'm gonna be good, I'm gonna make sure I'm good, I'm gonna say I'm good, I'm gonna make sure I'm better every time I come out. But it's gonna be a thing where my business thing has got to be together. I love skating, but I am not going to be like so many black people from the past in the 40s who loved doing something, who created it, but then when it came time to profit off it, never got anything. So I created my own company, my own skating company now. I've got people who's putting up money in my company and um, coming out with lines of skates, Vinzarelli clothes, Vinzarelli glasses, and uh, we're just gonna do it. To put the icing on the cake, uh, along comes a group of people who wants to put together a national magazine called Skater. I'm gonna do the cover of the magazine. Uh, I'm gonna have a, a section in the magazine called Vinzarelli's Corner. It, it looks really good. I'm really excited about this stuff. Oh, this one is good. Yeah, that's the one that we decided to use in the cover. Real colorful stuff. Man. See, we've taken this section of it right here and we've used that hey, in the cover. Hey, it looks good. But Skater Magazine probably come out approximately about three months, right? Yeah, sometime after the first of the year. We're, gonna, we're doing the finished mechanicals now. Will I be able to get some of these copies? Oh, yeah, sure, sure. We've got extra copies now. Mm -hmm. I've got a physical makeup of the magazine. You know, kind of roughed out over here on this board if you want to take a look at it. Okay. Oh, some of the things you would cover would be a specific step, mm -hmm. like an instructional sort of thing. How much space am I going to have to say and do whatever I'm going to say and do? You have two pages every month. So, yeah, it sounds good. We can work that out. And if I'm going to have a part in this, I realized that I had to go out to, and I had to uh, campaign for it, just like a politician campaigns for his, uh, for his votes. 
So I put my skates and my little skating program together and I started doing different openings for discos and fruit stands. It didn't matter. Just getting that footage, getting that media, getting that magazine uh, interest. So uh, like today, there's a van store opening in Queens. And one of the things I've done with my particular van is uh, put a skating scene on one of the sides, a whole mural, because I'm into skating. As simple as that. And um, the mural was so fantastic, it created a, a lot of, of talk in different neighborhoods about it and it attracted a lot of people. So the people at this particular van opening asked me to come down. I said, okay, I'll come down and do a little skating show. And uh, hey, I think the people will enjoy it. Put my skates on and make my entrance. Oh boy, here come Jigaboo. People are reacting, and that's so business. And the main reason why I'm doing it is because skating is great, man. I'm into it. I'm really into it. skater that has made a million bucks. I want to be in Guinness Book of Records. Why not? Everybody's got a shot on the planet. Everybody wants to contribute. That's going to be one of the ways that I do.
entertainment was real nice. I had a group. It was Pat the Cat and the Kitty Cats. It was nice, you know, I sung, did it mostly dancing. And I really liked it. But things became to get all messed up, you know, because like, uh, I didn't get them any jobs anymore. So I just gave it up, you know, I just said forget about it. And the most part I liked about it was the dressing because I used to wear thin red, green, loud colors. I liked it that. Now I got into skating, I, I can't do nothing else but skating. I spent so much money in skates and going skating and clothes, I don't never go to skate. Wear the same. I always look different. I got so many shirts with Pat the Cat on it. Like some of my shirts I got like Pat the Cat, money won't change me. I got Pat the Cat, hold me tight. I got, oh, I got so many. So you getting ready to go do your yeah, roller skate thing, huh? Ball. Huh? So what's happening? Won't you go along? No, I can't go. Why? Because I'm not fall if I You're go. You're not going to fall. Well, I don't think you ain't got to worry about yeah, it. Yeah, but then you be looking at my legs. I ain't going to get your legs. I, ain't gonna, I promise I'm going to look at your legs. Just Question come on, go spend your shoes. Mm, let's see, y'all. Yeah, you want to trust my chest now? Yeah, I see what I'm talking about? That's why I don't want to go chain. roller skate. That's a real chain you got? Yes, yeah, it's real. You going to go skate, then you ain't going to go? No, I'm not going to go. Maybe right, next time. Around. You want to skate and have a good time. All right? See you later. I see. OK, take it easy, babe. When I was a child, I really couldn't get the things I wanted. You know, my parents, I said, I want some cowboy guns. They said, you want cowboy guns? You better try to get some pants or a shirt or something. I like to have nice things, but the way times is now, you should have to scuffle for it. Like they say, I heard a movie star say, I paid my dues. I want all the fame and fortune that it is. Take a bite of my skates. When the temptation go by, they sign their autograph, they sign mine just for what I could do escape me, that's all. I love people pull on me and ask me what's my name and, and can I have your autograph? I like showmanship. And I can showmanship. Show me that Pat the Cat is coming back. It's coming back. He's going to London. He's going to perform. He's going to entertain for the people over there. When he's coming back, he's going to come back in good peace. He's not going to be stranded over there, crying the blues, so my Lord, how I'm going to get home. Well, come on now, look. We got six of us going over there, right? Right. Yeah. You got on the phone, and it's, can you people come to England February 9th? They called us. We didn't call them. They called us. You know, I ain't never been nowhere. And we going over there on the airplane, and I can't even swim. I right, mean, I mean, I got faith so in you, 
Well, and now I got faith in you. Hey, look. Well, the water keeps telling me to ask questions and see what's going on. Yeah, let's go. We'll jump on the plane. All of a sudden, I'm over there and I'm calling back. Dear mother, I went with Benz in LA and we had a good time, but I, I'm eating peanut butter sandwiches and... <laughs> And we took me in the bathroom and I went in the park and you know what I'm saying? I'll put me back in eight years because that's how much it's gonna take me to get the money to get back. You know what I'm saying? No, who All wants right. that? We're gonna have round trip tickets. So anything goes wrong, my partner Paul, and you and everybody that I take with me is gonna get on that plane and come back home. As far as where we're sleeping and where we're gonna be hanging out, that depends on what we have to do, what shows we have to do each day. Me having a, 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 a ticket to get there and get back, a place for me to sleep, I am definitely ready to go to London. Eastern. It's done. It's done. All right. Okay? <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> I love it, you know. You know how white kids are, they really reject, you know. But that would be really fantastic, I want to give them spontaneous stuff, spontaneous combustion. I want to give them stuff that we just think of so it's new to us. I don't want to work on it so much that it becomes stale. We're here, and the people are right outside this room. Right. And I say, Pat, you go on first. Fantastic. What would you do? You asked me what I do? I know you Check this out, check this out, check this out. They have preachers in London? Is that a ridiculous question? They have black people in London, don't they? Isn't it fantastic? <laughs> this is my first time to London. I like to say that I've never went any place in my life before. Yes, sir. <laughs> and I enjoy being here today because I know somewhere and somehow that life will carry me onward. Save the Lord. Yes. <laughs>
So Pat, tell me where you been at till six o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Baby. Huh? Nothing. Look, look at this. Look at this. Look, this hanging all in here. You gotta eat in here. This don't belong in here. Where you been at? Till six o'clock in the morning. You know where I'm going? I'm going to London, England. You going to London, England? Yeah, right over the plane. You know how to take off in the air? Yeah, yeah. how are you going to London, England? I'm going to escape, do shows, get my stuff together. We'll have some money, we'll have stuff for myself. And for you too, I'm going to London. Who told you you're going to London? Benzabelli, Benzabelli told her. But where's all the papers? Where, did you sign any papers or anything? Well, this is going to be nice. Do you know I where you're going to stay at? Yeah, I know. I, you know, I know where you I'm know how you're going to get there and get back? I'm going to be taking that plane. I'm going to be... You know how much you're going to get paid? You haven't answered my questions, Pat. Good boy. Look no. what? I've been up waiting for you and you come in here at 6 o'clock in the morning. Look. I don't want to hear that. Look. Going to London, England. I feel good about it. And everything's going to be all right. I don't... Why are you so you that angry at me? I don't know where you've been, if anything happened to you, and then you come home and tell me you and Vince are going Look. to England. That don't even sound Look. right. I don't even want to hear that. Look. I don't want to hear there. that. How are you I'm... going over there? How, how, who getting your ticket? Wait a minute, I told you Vince Valley gonna take care of that and everything. Oh, Vince Valley just tell you you go to London, Vince England, Vince and Vince. that's all right with you, huh? He told me I was Vince Valley know how much you gonna get paid? I told you, ain't no problem. It's a problem. I don't even know why you going through that. It don't even make no sense to you. Why you gotta get all mad? You get mad for nothing. It don't make no sense to me, boy. What you wanna, what you want me to do? What you want me to do? Tell me. Pat, you don't, you don't know nothing. You just gonna leave. You got a family. Oh, no. You know, you're just gonna, just gonna get up and just leave your family here. I want you to go over there and do your thing, but I just want you to go over there right. I'm gonna have all that. I'm gonna have all that. I'm gonna have all that together. I think everything's gonna be, be all right. Yeah, no problem. I mean, I didn't mean no harm about coming home this time of month, but I was happy. I just skated. I skated all the way home. You know, I didn't know I was gonna come home and it was gonna be like this. I mean, I didn't know I was gonna cause this much confusion, but I was happy. Don't, don't even have to worry about it. I'm gonna have all that. It's gonna be no problem going over there just like you want me to. So. But I'm going to London. You know, I'm going to have something. I'm going to have something. Right. I'm going to have money for myself, you, the kids, and all the things I've always wanted, I'm going to have. I got my chance now. I got a break, which I'll probably never get again. I don't know, but I got one now. I'm going to take advantage of it. And I'm going to have something. You can believe that. <laughs> Hey, look, look, don't even worry about it. Don't worry about this it. This guy over here. What is this over here? I thought we was going to take this up. Hey, I don't, the subway. Hey, check this out. You got to like this. Close your mouth. Close your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> we got to get ejected. We got to get ejected. This is fine. I don't like it. Now, wait a minute. My, my community, they gave me nickels and cords. But seriously, and even my parents helped me out, you know, for the money. Because it wasn't that much. <laughs> like, right you on. know, I said to myself, I said, if we go on somewhere, we're going to do it. We might as well do it to the bus. What is what do you do with these? That's you, that's oh, really? you blow your nose with this. Oh, oh, I knew what you do with them. I didn't know it first. I know, I know. I know what you do. Wait, wait. Is this is what you do. Oh, yeah, yeah, shit, what do you want? You want champagne or you want some of this? You gotta hold it up now, Pat. Come on. This is gonna be resuscitation. <laughs> don't ignore your fan club, Pat. Boy. Where they are? Oh, no, don't get ridiculous now. This is oh, my yeah. Hi, Ripkey! <laughs> Is Rick Man Ricky from the ghetto? Ah! <laughs> Ricky! Yes, we made it! No, we we're going to London. Ah! <laughs> and this is the big part. This is the last of the Very heavy. Very heavy. <laughs> we'll be the disco a go to skating in London. <laughs> in London. <laughs> now, I'm not going! <laughs> I'm gonna get drunk! I want liquor! I need liquor bad. Vince and Valley! We're gonna beat somebody! <laughs> All right!
You skate till you can't skate no more. Save all 